Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the fourth PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about editing text, formatting text, uh, inserting word art, uh, positioning text, and uh, also um, other items such as bullets and numbering. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in here. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the end of the deck here, which is just three slides. And I'm going to insert a new slide. An easy way to do that is Control M as in Mary. And you notice this has a template already here, and it's just the basic template where it has a an outline for where to put text or insert different different items like pictures or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and just up top here, and I'm going to type 10 minute train, and then I'm going to go ahead and put down here. I'm just make something up. Computer based train, let's say. All right. Then I hit return. You notice it automatically formats it um, for another line. I'll just put Excel and then under Excel just like we did on a previous slide I'm going to increase the list level and you could put down um, basic hit return and then you could increase it again and so you can create a list and this is an automatic template. So so anyways I'm going to go ahead and just delete these automatic or the uh, default template items here and the way to do that is highlight the box where you see it highlighted and hit the delete key. I'm going to do the same thing here for this outline. Highlight it again. There we go. Okay. So now if I want to insert text, I can go insert. You can do this on any slide, anywhere you need to. Text box. Drag your mouse over here. I am going to go ahead and just start typing in the text box. I'm going to type 10 10 minute train okay and then looking at that there's a couple ways I can edit this font and the text and everything I can uh, look I can highlight it and and uh, right click it and I'll get this menu down here and also when I highlight it I'll get these pop-up menus so over here let me just show you a couple quick things here this has many of the common um, formatting functions for your font. All right, so there's bold, italics, center it, bring it back to the left. Here is your font color. Okay, we're going to change it to red. Uh, we are going to uh, another thing, you, there's several options up here. There's the font. You can manually change it like this and bring it down. We'll make it uh, Arial here. And then let's assume this font is not big enough. We can go ahead, this button right We can either manually do it right here or you can go use this button, which is increase your font size and keep clicking it until you get to the right size. Okay, maybe we went a little too far. Let's go ahead and, and, uh, and downsize it with this button here. Okay. These are other formatting options like the background color. Let's say I wanted to make the background color blue or something like that. So I could do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just leave it like that for right now. Now, one of the things that I want to do is show you how to format the text box. So I'm going to highlight the box with a single click, let go of the mouse. I'm going to right click it and choose format shape. Now I have lots of lots of options here. You notice here it's solid fill. And here's my here's my main menu item. So I'm going to say fill. I'm going to change it back to no fill. It doesn't do the background. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do gradient fill, and you see what it did. And then you can change it, and you can change the color, and you can change the um, you can change the transparency of it, and so forth. So there's lots of different options. Uh, you can make the background a picture, right? or texture right and here's lots of options just built right into Microsoft okay or you can just make it the slide okay so I'm gonna say no fill there's line color we don't have any lines um, in here but you know line color line style shadows for example if we wanted to leave a shadow on the box we would do something let's do it like that and oh, let me actually make the fill. Let me go back to the fill and then go back to shadow. And let's go ahead and choose, say, this one. And 
and you'll notice a shadow on there, 3D, 3D rotation. Uh, it's not a picture, so we don't have any options there. Now here's the text box itself, so we can do lots of different things here. Right now, these are just the defaults. Actually, let me go back here, text box. I had to highlight it again. Um, there's an auto fit option if it's outside of your box. One of the things we do here is if this had um, lots of, let me show you a good example. Okay, you see it auto wrap because it doesn't fit in there. If I uncheck wrap text, it will just go as long as it needs to, including run off the page. Okay, so usually it's going to be wrap text into the shape. Um, text direction, horizontal, you can rotate it. Right, you can change it back to horizontal. You can align it vertically. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just close that out for right now. I'm going to change it back to no fill. And for right now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click this slide and I'm going to delete it. Now, I'll leave it there for right now in case we need to come back to it. So another option here, actually I will just delete this by highlighting the box and hit the delete key. Another thing that you can do when you're working with text is you can go over to, uh, let's see, insert and we can insert word, word art and we can go down here and find uh, a design that we like so for example right here is a nice design of text and it's in a good format and then you can just overwrite it and say 10 minute train okay then you can do the same exact things with this word art you can go to format and shape change the back change the fill shadow it um, you know lots and lots of different options here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it uh, leave everything back at the default and then another uh, nice thing I want to show you is I can highlight that I can go to size and position and I can resize it okay and I can reposition it so a common thing that we might want to do here is we might want to go in and we might want to rotate it, right? It doesn't always have to be vertical font, right? If, uh, you know, this would only come into play in some places, but if you want to put a comment off to the to the side, you could use something like this and use it kind of as a pop-up. So that's those are kind of neat features there. Uh, another thing is that I wanted to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and just go back to this one here. So one of the things that I wanted to show you is you can format shapes and pictures. This is just a JPEG that I dragged onto here. Okay, so by default, this was actually a square, I believe, when I brought it in. So I changed the shape of it and everything. And then what you can do is go under Format, and you notice Picture Tools is highlighted up here. You have several options now in 2007 that you didn't have in 2003. For example, Picture Shape. I can use the normal shape so it came in and if I resized it it would look like that and it would be a perfect rectangle okay so what I can do here is highlight it again and I can go to format picture shape and I can change it to rounded rectangle or an oval or whatever so I'm gonna leave it like that you can add picture effects like a shadow um, you know a glow soft edges you know whatever the case may be so you can just play with those so those are really handy to use uh, another quick thing I want to show you is I can highlight an existing list and I can click over here next to the bullets icon up here and there's a little pull down and you notice I have lots of options so I can do a variety of um, changes here so for example I can choose this one I can go back, I can choose this one, but another neat thing that you can do is I can go over here and go to bullets and numbering and I can say customize and I can go under here under font and change it, this is kind of a neat one, you can go to wingdings and you have all these symbols, for example, you know, I'll come up with something that doesn't make a lot of sense here, but smiley faces and I'm going to say OK and you notice now that's an option here. The other thing you can do is use a picture and you can use a picture obviously you would want it to be small but you can also import a picture if you wanted to uh, that you custom made your company logo or company bullet point or something like that so I'm about out of time here I think the only other thing that I wanted to share with you today 
is when you're done, you can go to review and do spell check, which is right here. Or when you notice that when you highlight it, it gives you the shortcut. And then the last thing is there is a thesaurus built in here. You can highlight a word and click on thesaurus and it will come up with your different options. Okay, that's what I want to share with you. Thanks for joining and please subscribe. Take care.